Hi, and welcome back to day two of the Gauna cast. I am joined here by my lovely co-caster, Steel Mage. Hello, and we are hello. well rested and uh, ready for the day. Yeah, well, one of us is. How you guys doing? So, um... We do see some deaths here. There you go, I can zoom in a little bit. Damn. So we see uh, at rank 13, Fubgun is dead at level 89 as a trickster. We have uh, rank 3, Hierophant is dead as well. Is SBB? SBB is apparently dead. Oh. I wonder what killed him. He was the rank 1 Marauder. Maybe we scroll down. No, I think he died pretty early yesterday. Yeah. Oh yeah, there. I see him. Uh, there he is, yeah. Died not too long after entering maps. Um, yeah, let's go look at the bounties and what's been claimed so far. So for those that don't know, bounties are um, basically mini races that some are made by players, some are made by our lovely sponsors, and um, and some are made by us. So uh, there are loads of different bounties and there are some particularly fun ones. Some early, some late. We have like a pretty good mix there. So we'll look at the claimed bounties. First oh wow, player. holy. All right, here we go. Wow, so we'll start with Zyzeron's bounty, first player. So this is basically the Ruthless Kitava bounty. I didn't think it would be claimed this fast. Oh, wow. No we'll variable we'll or unique that. items, no yeah. movement skills, no benchcraft and modifiers, and no linked support gems. So yeah, $1,000 claimed by Farblar Waggle. Wiggle for Waggle. First duel, wow. They have two void stones already. I wonder how, oh, I'm so excited to see that. Yeah. Um, so Al Kaiser, first duelist, MPM, first uh, Marauder, first Shadow, Darky, first Templar, Jesus. Alex. They're really going for it. They're really going for I it. Hope, I hope they are actually hard because uh, Ben's not wrong. They're going to be able to get in there sooner than usual. Yeah. Whether or not they can kill it is a whole other question, but they're going to be getting in there. I mean, they are gaming. Yeah. Um, first player to slay Normal Lazaro, uh, Alex. So he's won a decent amount of money already. Already at over $700. Um, first player to complete Cowers Trial Unique Map by EC. Um, we have the uh, Rampage Bounty that we saw by Ben. Uh, first player to die to a lab trap while a delirium is active, Kurai Seiman. He's, I think we saw him in chat. He was so excited to be dead. He was uh, so excited. Also. <laughs> um, first deal list is like Kitava in Act 10, Marauder, Ranger, Scion, Shadow, Templar, and Witch goes to, um, wait, what? Oh, he's a shadow. He's a shadow. I'm stupid. Oh, oh my God. I'm stupid. Ignore us, chat. Don't yeah, worry. we're stupid. Gita, SBB, up. Wild as well. True. Oh, wow. Yeah, Scion was killed already. Uh, ben, Alex, and then Pak. Golden Hand was Ben. Second deal list was the Kaiser, then Soul. Krakamas, Humor, Jezzy, uh, which is uh, Chang Ron, Artemsor, and Qualia were the second uh, Kitabas. Yeah, so congratulations to all those players for not only making it through the campaign, but making it to the campaign in a uh, timely fashion. Very fast, very fast. Um, first, second, and third player to reach 1,500 or more intellect by Intel, Intellect Intel Bounty. Oh. Um, puck or win mechanism and get big fast. I don't think they did that. Like That's crazy. Probably a big race by using gold. I guess. Uh, yeah, I mean, I'm almost tempted to see their submission. To see... Well, I, I can maybe bring up Discord? Yeah. Um, do you think he just fucked up his entire character to make it happen? Wow. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he did. He fucked up his tree. All right, let's take a look at that again. Yeah. Um, yep. Uh, oh, yep. Hopefully he can undo that, but maybe... Or maybe... Maybe he's happy. I mean, that's a hey, that's a bounty claim. That's a bounty. That's a bounty. He's very intellectual. Shit. Sponsored by Intel. Yeah, very cool. Are you an aspiring hacker? Do you enjoy watching Netflix with your girlfriend? Are you being censored or limited in what content you can access? And the worst thing of all, are you disconnecting due to bad server routing, preventing you from beating Ben in the gauntlet? Well, NordVPN has solutions to all of your problems and more. So if you're traveling from America to another country, but you still want to keep up with your favorite shows, you can do that using Nord, leaving you to access everything that you normally want to while on the move. Sometimes your routing to a server can be less than ideal. You can use NordVPN to change this to make sure that at least you have a stable connection. 
NordVPN also features 24-7 customer support, so they're always there to help you. A huge thank you to NordVPN for sponsoring the gauntlet. It helps make the prize pool bigger, and it's so cool to see these big companies coming in and helping out. Make sure you check out their tunneling bounty. It's a really cool one. Use code ZIZZERIN today. It's four extra months, a big discount, and a 30-day money-back guarantee. So if you're not happy with the product, you get your money back. There we go. All right. Whew. I got there. I need to pay attention because I can Yeah, obviously because this is a successful bounty it, completion, honestly. we know he did do it, so. Beautiful. <clears throat> So we're mostly curious if this baby version of it has any special mods. It might not. It might not. Looks normal so far. That's interesting. He's playing Earth Shadow now. Also less damage than I thought he would have. Oh! Oh! <laughs> Very fun. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So even the baby oh, version. Uh, that is different. Uh, That's awesome. It's, yeah. <laughs> oh, that makes me so excited for Ubers. Now, obviously, he's got Overleech on a duelist, so he'll handle this pretty well, actually. But not everyone will be so lucky to be able to handle the uh, Shaper Beam. Like, I'm glad they would be fucking shitting themselves. That's beautiful. I would be shitting myself, sis. That's so, so he's not scary. gonna do the beam in the ball face, right? No. Yeah. Oh, that would've been fun. Uh-huh, fun. Fun for us. To yeah, watch. well, something that would've been cool here is, like, basically that, like, every one and a half seconds a new Shaper Beam spawns is always something you have to dodge. Yeah. Like, I just realized... 100% more damage, uber exarc with shaper beams. That's gonna be nasty. And you're gonna have yeah. dogs chasing you and runes everywhere. Holy um, shit. So I believe that ubers will have more different things as well. More? Okay. Plus they'll have Cyrus. So it'll probably be the shaper beams, Cyrus, and then one or two additional mechanics, potentially. Oh my gosh. <laughs> this is gonna be great. And the best part is, chat, it's intentionally designed so that the competitors actually get there. So it's not, it hopefully, won't, for extra flash charges. it won't just be Ben. We'll, we'll get to see uh, many people yeah. at least attempt them. So, Gauntlet has not been finished at least once, maybe two or three. Viro probably remembers. Uh, but yeah, there are several gauntlets that have not been fully cleared. But we are expecting, uh, we usually expect gauntlet to be cleared between day 4 and 5. Oh man, I, I, now I'm excited to see Eater, man. A maven in the- oh my oh, yeah, gosh. Pulling. Oh, I forgot. Yo, I won, dickhead. <laughs> Stop memeing, dude. Uh, That's Awesome. Oh, okay, all right, so... We should see the first one. Who did it first? Because I would love to see, like, the initial reaction. Yeah, I, I, it's hard for me to find the, um... Roy right in the VOD. I can do ben? it. Ben? Yeah, let's look at Ben's VOD. Okay. We'll what did you do, XR? I wonder how his damage is. Looks slower than Alf. Yeah, but not unserviceable. Definitely doable, and they do have like decent HP. There's three shapers casting beam. <laughs> <laughs> We're doing it again. Shit. The knight dropped a small in for Ben. That's huge. I don't know if he would use that. He might. Oh! That's a lot of damage it's in normal. Beam too. It is huge damn beam. Uh -huh. Oh, that's gonna go so I insane. I wanna get a uh, leafy. Leafy shade. That's, that'll do so much damage later. 
How would you do in this corner? Well, as casters, we're watching the best players in the game, and it honestly doesn't look too hard. So I think I would just do what he does, right? Yeah, yeah pretty easy. I think you would be around one right now. Work. Yeah, just I would, ju I would just do this, but slightly better. Yeah, yeah. Because like when you when you watch professionals play, it's kind of like easy to see what mistakes they make and improve on it. Yeah. So it's really just just do what they do but better, chat. Yeah. yeah. That is a really good tip. Honestly, like, I feel the same way when watching sports. Yeah. Like just kick the ball but better. in the in the hole. Like, just don't fumble. Like, That's pretty self-explanatory. Oh, the leash shed helped a lot. I really wish the the shape of the beam was gonna happen during this phase. If the beams could happen here, that would be unbelievably toxic. That would be so fun. Like, no. Both the things they added that this fight and Eater both don't happen during uh, the intermission, only during the, like when you know the boss is active. Yeah, so do you know, no, that there's more than just Shaper on top of the mods and Uber? No. Because there's a non zero chance it's just. It's just Uber Exarch with 100% more damage, you know, 88% less damage taken with haste and projectiles and and shaper. Yeah. I don't know for sure. With Cyrus as well. That yeah, could just be that. It could just be that. Why well, I know why you know at this point. Yeah, he definitely, I mean, we're seeing more faces here. He definitely has less damage than Alf, but it's not too surprising. The um, auto exertion Earth Shatter Slam build is one of the higher DPS builds in the game early. So, yeah. Wonder if he's getting another stage. Uh, I think Power Siphon is called by default. <laughs> <laughs> so you Bro, the beams just fucking appear out of nowhere. Yeah, There's no like sound cue or anything. They're just there. Yeah. There you go. Oh wow, forbidden flame and the shield. Yeah. Good late. Good late. Ah, oh, you got the uh, the uh, fist of war, chieftain. Yep. You yeah. void stones name. Yep. Is that... Is that a water geyser? I'm not sure. Oh. What are they- Oh, it's like the wall from the pirate. You can't go there. Oh, it's arena denial. <laughs> That's toxic. That'd be really toxic on the uber fight. How are you gonna do that on the uber fight? He knows. Won't that like knock you into the big tentacles? Yeah, definitely not. Well, I assume there's no tentacle, there's no water face here. Oh, okay. Okay. I would have thought it was during that phase too. Yeah, the the real the real um wall will be during Ubers, because we're assuming they will inherit at least this mechanic. Yeah. And you can move mid skill over it. You just can't walk through it. That's not a wall. I don't think he wants to walk into it to find out, but I'm curious. I do wonder how much it does. That's the part not... where the drowning orbs are bigger is kind of bullshit. Uh, definitely not oh yeah, look how big the drowning orb is. Anybody was expecting. The big balls. And after this, we're gonna take a look at Katarina, see if that's any different. Dex stocks go up. This fight might be too hard on Uber then for yeah. Slayer. That's, that's the thing, right? When, this is manageable, obviously. Eater is generally a pretty easy level entry fight. So even with the extra mods, not a problem. This but he's not thinking about this, issue. he's thinking about Ubers. Because these will be on the Ubers, most likely. Yeah. 
How do I get past Val Oversoul? So oh, we're level a lot. Val Oversoul is a bit of a filter this gauntlet. The best recommendation is to actually get damage. If you just build tank, what's gonna happen is the fight will eventually overwhelm you. Yeah, I don't think so you actually... I don't know. Slayer seems really bad for this fight on Uber. Cool. Alright, uh, let's take a look at the arena. Will be fine. That was our That's the beauty of it. I love that we like don't really know what's different. It's normal so far. In the first I, I would expect that there's only something in the second stage if there is something. Yeah, obviously the gauntlet has a lot of entry level bosses as well. Mm, poo poo. <laughs> Dude, don't ask questions, chat. Don't ask questions. Just just embrace it. Yeah. Uh, so any live stream content will not have audio YouTube. No, it's no, you're the Bunger Man. You can be that Bunger Man. We did that nasty, dirty plan. We we did that nasty, dirty plan. It's time for artosis. Artosis is coming for you. There's nothing <laughs> that you can fucking do. The not oh, gonna All right, shed. let's start looking at some clips. All right. All right, he's fighting like a five way. Oof. Wow, clean one shot. Look, <sighs> the fucking. Why did, why did he I wasn't even paying attention, dude. Why did he witness that? Was... Yeah, that's crazy. To be fair though, while he has been showing a very strong showing in the gauntlet, he is not very used to hardcore, and this is not something you do consider on softcore. Yeah, you don't witness that one, and if you do witness that one. I mean, you, I mean, you don't want to say it again, because it's, yeah. Um, yeah, it is what it is, I guess. Shit. Really good damage. I assume he'll uh, go again, but uh. Oh yeah. Yeah, you can see he just gets absolutely Oof. chunked, double tapped. Fuck, j'étais tellement slow. Mais gros, j'ai cliqué, pourquoi c'est pas cancel? He sounds like Carnival. Oh fuck! <laughs> no way! Pourquoi c'est pas cancel? Oh fuck! I understand. Oh fuck. Yeah. Yeah. Next up, we have uh, Mosh. Oh, this one actually has the audio on mute. Ooh. Oh! That was fast. Um, Yeah, I mean, that that's just traditional gauntlet right there. Obviously, he's doing the uh, the new mechanic from the Arakali uh, room. Yeah. And then eating every single one of Malagara's projectiles there. Oh, the beam's quite invisible as well. See that? The left side beams disappear, but they're still firing. Oh, so he walks into what he assumes is safe. Rip. Yeah. Rip. Another Trinity. I mean, we're expecting to see a few more of these. No, I fucking died! <sighs> Damn, the pain in his eyes. This is the visceral experience that is the gauntlet. And remember, try to die less than I do. No, I fucking died. This is what we he like. He had a fucking see. six thing, dude. He did have a six thing. Ooh. Damn, three point three k life, oh, very no. low for the Act Nine boss. Despair. All right, we have a clip from Zeus. What's gonna happen? What's gonna happen? He's gonna walk in there. What's gonna happen? Is he just gonna die to the goats? No. Oh. Yes. N no. Yes. Oh my. Yes, I felt uh, it. Didn't even get to the boss. Yeah. yeah. When we say take it easy, take it slow. But I mean maybe not slow. in a literal. This is actually a gauntlet. You got to get through the gauntlet here. Got to get through the gauntlet. Yeah. Maybe a little bit quicker. Eighteen hundred life too. So a lot of life. Uh, and pox. This is fresh off the press. This apparently. is very fresh, steaming hot. Mm. Ah damn! I'm I'm tanking it. <laughs> you guys know that said DD. <laughs> oh shit! I'm tanking it. <laughs> you can see his like little. He does say I'm tanking it, and to I'm be fair, it. he does tank it. Tanking he just it. does not survive tanking it. There you have it. So a lot of deaths so far. Um, now that we are in maps, we are not expecting to see a large amount of deaths for a while. We are expecting to see people farming out a lot of gear. Um, obviously a lot of people will have to get through the campaign again. 
but the maps are exceptionally easy for yeah. a gauntlet. As we were saying, uh, this gauntlet is very different format. As you can see, like yesterday was a complete blood bluff with the campaign being um, extremely difficult and with reworked additional boss mods and all that kind of craziness. Um, and now it's a lot chill. So I think this was inspired from last gauntlet with the, what did you call it? The Oasis. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, so Last Gauntlet had an extremely hard campaign still, but with no custom mods, and then uh, white maps were an oasis, where you were supposed to like gear up, get ready, and then yellow maps were pretty toxic with like 60 or 80% haste, and red maps were different in more damage but less haste, so it was, it was very different. In this Gauntlet, all our maps, you can see white, yellow, and red maps are all extremely easy. Even red maps is only monsters deal 30% more damage, they take 30% less, and they have 15% haste. So they even have less haste than yellow maps. The reason for that is that we want people to be able to safely gear up in maps because we've had past continents where maps were incredibly hard and realistically watching people die to random stone golems and stuff like that hasn't been that cool so what we really want to see is people going into ubers and dying repeatedly uh, we just want to see all the racers dying after getting one or two ubers down uh we've actually seen a large amount of complaints anytime we've had an easy campaign from uh not even just racers but actually from like most people that want to participate i mean we this can is do not a, a bounty right no i have no idea why he's, he's fighting this he's just a bola we could even have people in chat right if they prefer an easy or hard campaign, but usually we see that people want a hard campaign and that is what um, people want. Yeah, the stream should be 1080. Do you see that? Like, I've only seen one person saying easy. And they are wuss. Sorry, I mean, um, thanks for watching the goal there. We appreciate you. We appreciate your input. Uber Hiller made me happy, yeah. Man, really good damage here. Yeah. Yeah. Do you think he's just doing it because like, because he can? Maybe he's gambling for something. Maybe he wants base types. Yeah, I don't know. I guess Expedition's a core cool part of his strategy. I was discussing whether or not Khan should skip it. Um, from what I was told, a little bit of racer insight, Ooh. the reason they're doing Expedition is, believe it or not, Alteration Orbs <laughs> from Tujin. Oh. Yeah, I don't know why they need so many ults, but yeah, they want a lot of ults very quickly. Um, and Tujin is obviously a really good source of not just yeah. ults, but obviously all kinds of currency. You just deleted a rare item instead of entering in for ults. Oh, oh it's very common gear. strats, yeah. That I should know sense. this is a ruthless main. All endgame gear is crafted with blue gear. That makes sense. Yeah, that makes sense. So while well, Oversoul is a bit of a filter here. So this is obviously round two, I believe. Yeah, honestly, he barely made it through this last time. No, so. no! He needs to uh, over level more. Like, you really want to over level for this. A couple of them down, right? Yeah, I guess he got filtered. Yeah, it's an easy mistake to make. Obviously, when you uh, have a high level rip, you want to get back to where you were before. And so you naturally go a little bit faster. And so I think last time he had like 1k life. So he's got like 20% less life there, maybe a little bit less damage. How the hell? You just sort of like, you don't like dislocate your hand, but you sort of like turn it off so that it's just like, Wiggly, and then you just like. <sighs> All right, let's look at Step DJ's rip. Oh, hasted shrine. That's scary. Yeah, they stood still. Don't stand still. Don't stand yep. still, chat. It is what it is. Yep. Oh, I ten Katava. I five. No, I can't. It's just so little life. I thought it was like five. Ah. Uh, oh. Yeah. Um. Maybe they were trying to hydrate in the beam. Uh, <laughs> Don't hydrate in the beam, chat. Yeah. Whoops. Yeah. 
Let's do a prediction in chat. Can Zizarin do Hillock on a Templar? First try. Let's load it up right now. Put your points <laughs> where it's fucking worth. Let's go right now. Alright. Now he will be playing on my account. Please stop banish GGG because I'm here. It's just like when a parent plays with their child. Yeah, he's we're related. Do you have any weird keybinds that's gonna get me killed? Yep. Like your flasks? Yep. What? Really? Really. Oh, space <laughs> bar and eight? 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 What in the cursed hell? <laughs> I'm gonna rebind your keybinds. Okay. Wait, oh my god, the mouse sensitivity is so bad. Do you want it to be higher or lower? Higher. Press uh, this key here. Is it higher now? Yeah. You can make it faster if you want. Is that better? Does it not go faster than this? No. I've got my, the lowest mass sensitivity. My, I have really high. I barely move my hand. Entropy. Drain. Speed. God. Uh-oh. I don't want to distract them, chat. But, uh, yeah, I, I mean... I think at this point, if he makes one bad mistake... He's dying better than I thought he would. Oh! Ooh. Oh, that's so lucky. If I was this, I would go back and get Flask now. Because you've already got the hard part out of the way. If you just, uh... Right. Yeah, if, you get, well. if you get high flats here, I think you'll be fine. You just have to not die to the crabs, though. You probably want some zombies. I but... will, I will. But you just want to stay close to him and not get, um... Where on earth? Um, it looks like... Okay, there's a couple zombies, but mostly crabs. And the problem here, obviously, is the crabs are quite lethal. I would have hit the crab that first time. Protect. Drain. Honestly, the contestants made this look so much harder than it actually was. Maybe this doesn't suck. You're at least better than Mathel, as good as Waggle, and better than Rex now. Confirmed, 100%. GG. I'm actually pretty sure I can do it on the first try without even going back for potions. Yeah. Alright. Do you think you Still, chat sucks. Alright, how do I fix my keybinds? I don't even know what you've done to them. That's fucking weird. Alright, so Steel Mage is now killing the starter zombie, equipping Heavy Strike, and now he is changing his toolbar around. Putting in always attack without moving. <laughs> he has some really fucking weird keybinds. His life flask is on 5, 7, his mana flask is on F. Hitting the barrel, getting exploded. He's going towards a large chest that contains the ruthless support gem. Something Steel is very familiar with. Not everyone knows this yet because he hasn't told every person that exists, but he did play Ruthless. I really thought I would get some loot, man. Aw, oh, man. I really thought I'd get some loot, dude. Train. Train. Choo right. choo. Drain. Oh, that's annoying. Drain. Doing well so far, running in circles, the best tactic in Path of Exile. Drain. Jesus, alright. Now those zombies will give flasks back, but they're not gonna give much else. Um, yeah, see, here's the problem. I could go back to try to get some gear, but... Getting the damage in. Oh. Yeah, I think... 
I just have to bait the slam. So right okay. now, he's uh, basically baiting out a slam, then trying to get one or two hits in before the Maven Orbs go in. Yeah. Um, can I kill those trash mobs from before, though? And will they give flask charges? It looks like they do stay. Yeah. Okay, well, those will stay there for now, and then we'll bait him over here. So he'll slam me here. Summon some zombies. Attack. Nice tactic. Oh, that swing is nasty, mate. All right, I have to go for puss mode here. This is pretty awful, Ziz. Yeah. Ah, oh, I'm so close! But I've almost run out of mobs to kill, and I don't have a HP pot. You could run all the way back up and kill those zombies they were working on earlier. No, I'm thinking... I just need... Oh, shit. I shouldn't be doing that. No! Wait. Okay. Just come over here, my lovely. Yeah, you there know. you have it chat. So Hillock is not that hard. Even Steel Mage was able to do it. Yeah, you just have to fucking hit level 2, dude. Jesus. He looks confident. What level is he? So he's changed his build. He's not SRS anymore. Uh, Absolution? Yeah. Yeah. Oh. He's taking a lot of the damage. But with 1.1k life, you can kind of get away with that. And he killed two of the architects. As long as he doesn't summon more. Oh, he's leaving one up. Bold choice. He's out of health potions. Does he only have one health potion? It's hard to tell. He's a weird ass transmog MTX flasks. Um, so yeah, uh, the issue with the minion build, as you guys have pointed out, is they die. And so, you can see he's really struggling to keep up his minions. And he is using Tempest Shield so he doesn't get shocked on the fight. Vile's uh, laser does have a guaranteed shock. But with this, the laser actually won't do that much damage. We'll just chunk him for a third of his health, but more importantly, the second shock error is never going to happen. So he'll never like get one shot by the laser. Yeah, but see those minions aren't gonna last too long, but if they can just burst down some of the uh, architects to give an opportunity to damage Vile, it's worth it. You see all the zombies already dead, so... They, they last like five seconds. Yeah. I think I even I last longer than that. <laughs> Holy. Quite yeah, a lot of uh, I can't even count how many architects are on the screen right now. Four, five? Eight. Or, oh no, those are smaller minions. I get really nervous when he stands in a corner because that's not what you want to do because a corner has the capability of shotgunning you. Yeah. If I, just standing still is a bad idea. Very, very low though. He's playing it safe. So low. Yeah, you see all his minions are dead. He's by himself. He's getting attacked off screen. I think he's just committing. Ooh, that was scary. Yeah. The architects die when Val dies. Some solace in that. Yeah. Logs out and boom, he is in act three. Well done, very clean. Sometimes playing too conservative gets you killed. Yeah, I mean, we definitely saw that the people that had a large amount of damage, not necessarily a large amount of defense, did really well throughout the entire campaign. Damage is definitely the name of the game. Obviously, you don't want to be at the point where you're getting one shot, but you really, really benefit so much from not dealing with a lot of the mechanics. Let's see. Is Rise really the rank one minion player right now? He might be. Yeah, I think so. So, let's see. Skill-wise, we have Earth Shatter, Ice Nova, Power Siphon, Bone Zone. Another Nova, Earth Shatter, Power Siphon, Earth Shatter, Power, 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 Park with the Flame Blast. Power Slide finish at a Grand Slam. Min where, where is our minion players? Minion, 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 minion. Minion. We have a DD player. There's an actual DD player. Take him out, sis. Actual DD player. Um, Eviscerate. Let's turn on the uh, Retaliate builds. Here we go. 38 is our rank 1 minion player. Damn. Hey, they're doing alright. Look, at the end of the day, 87. They're That's probably in good. yellow maps. Hey. Yeah, and they're playing an actual honest to god spec to summoner. So, it can be done. Yo, Alex, do a three way. That's hot. Alright, he's probably got the Legion music on if he's not a bastard. He's a bastard, chat. How do you do Tomain of the Timeless Conflict without the soundtrack? That's illegal. That's actually illegal. That's wedge. 
All right, and no jewel, no jewel. Unless I missed it, but yeah, no jewel. Yeah, this is using an Onigoroshi. Yeah. Now there's two ways to approach the Onigoroshi bounty. A lot of damage. Oh jeez. Yeah, so you can either play Onigoroshi throughout the run, or you can just swap it on last minute. Swapping it on last minute might be a little bit cheesy, but it's probably the more you know effective way to go about it. Yeah. But obviously Greek Goddess, it's just gonna wear the thing from level one onwards. Man, the beam is so fast. Yeah, yeah it's definitely hasted. But not too bad. And Volcanic Fish is very, that's Volcanic Fish, right? I thought it was Air Shatter. But I guess it is Volcanic Fisher. Or Tectonic. Yeah, I always confuse those two for some reason. I don't know, I use them. It's Tectonic. Yeah. Can yeah, they say Act 9? Yeah. yeah, I thought so, but it is Act 8. We'll see Act 9 later. Very good damage, though. Yeah, so all Great Goddess has to do is take that Onigroshi to Pentacles, which Pretty actually. Durable. So here's the thing if they make it through the campaign, they will make it to Pentacles. But as we observed with Eater and Exarch, they have been changed. So who knows what we're going to see on who knows? the Maven? Like, I mean, we do chat. not know. Yeah. What do you think Maven's going to do? Like, yeah, I really wonder. I'm yeah. very excited to see Maven. Yeah. Now, I don't know when we're going to see bosses. Normally, we see bosses when Ben goes for Ubers because Ben will actually kind of skip all that content. But this time around, I am expecting people to clear the pinnacles because they should be a lot easier than the Ubers. There should be a huge gap between them. Um, so I'm really, really, really curious. When do you think the first pinnacles are going to die? A pinnacle being in this case, let's say Maven. Like, when do you think Maven will die? I wouldn't be surprised if we see one today. Uh, but I think very, very likely tomorrow. To see normal pinnacles. Yeah. I think people really want to do the... Um, I, I think people really want to do the Onigoroshi bounty too. So I think we can see the higher funds yeah. picking up an Onigoroshi and wearing that. That's true. I know Khan and whatnot were saying it could be a day two, day three bounty because they do just go back, farm the sword, equip it on an already strong build and then smash it out. Yeah. Although they do have to do Uber at Ziri as part of that. I'm surprised she left that in because Uber at Ziri is a bit of a step above those. So we'll see how that goes. Oh, oh he's about to fail. The, the resolve is so low. And he can't use any flask because he's picked up the flask debuff. Ah, oh, but he's literally on the final floor though. I guess as long as he can kill Lysia, he'll uh, he'll get a full clear of Sanctum. And she's... This oh. is just the quest one, right? Yeah, but that will potentially be some Divine Orbeez. And he'll get the opportunity to get a relic, and the relic can actually give you um, extra attempts, extra tomes. Yeah. <gasps> now it's 71 at room floor, which is 60, like whatever it is. So, it is the quest one. Definitely the quest one. Why does he have a six thing? Wait. Is she different? No. Shit, he just tanked that. <gasps> oh! Uh, yeah, well. I'm surprised he tanked that. Not, naughty, naughty, naughty. Wow. Boy. Naughty, naughty boy. Damn. Now don't do that. What is he doing? Um, I guess he forgot that it actually does damage. That's he my was, guess. He was actually just doing a tank test. POB can only tell you so much. But now he knows that he most of the time can tank a 71 Lycia. It's good to know, chat. Yeah, so there's a... Uh, for those of you who do need a quick catch up on what Sanctum is, it's essentially a roguelite minigame that GGG made within Path of Exile. And so instead of having a health bar, you have a resolve bar. Now, you can see his resolve goes all the way down to the bottom. Who one else there? Not too bad. Um, if that resolve reaches zero, he actually fails. You don't die, but you do fail. Now, it is possible to die within Sanctum. Our very own Scizorin found out the hard way. Um, generally speaking though, you're safe until the final floor. And then that boss, Lycia, she does actually do normal damage. Yeah, very deadly. And we saw him almost getting one shot. Yeah. That, that is roughly a shape of slam worth of damage, but it's obviously low level. Yeah. So, not supposed to tank that. Yeah, at 83, it would have been dead many times over. Yeah, yeah, not supposed to take that. We have a rip here. So this is the factory boss in Act 9. 
Um, and it's ghosted. Oh, I would have left. So it's not supposed to be ghosted. Yeah. Uh, maybe they thought that was part of the campaign. That's not part of the campaign. No, that's just bad luck. Yeah. I would remake that zone. That that is unlucky. That. Yeah. Get R and D. Get R and D. That is unfortunate. Um. Honestly, I was kind of expecting that some of the bosses would just be like quad ghosted or something. Oh, maybe that'll be Maven. Like quad ghosted Maven. Ghost is so silly though. But yeah, you, you never know what they decide to do. Oh. Look at them go. Has he done anything like that? I mean, I would do either first. Surely. Yeah, so Park, no, he, he has his, um, this is his bone zone basically. So he's playing Baal Flame Blast using the file uh, forces, which actually allows you to refresh the ignite that you uh, trigger. So you can Baal Flame Blast, which is normally a Baal skill that you can't spam, and then refresh it continuously with an Arcadist brand curse setup. And so you can see, um, he can theoretically just throw down curses and he'll continuously uh, reapply that ignite. I just had such a good idea for future gauntlets. Wow, they do damage, the waves. Um, you could use, for future gauntlets, you could use like exiles from hologram masters as bosses. Yeah, I don't know if that would work. Just pump up some HP on them. Uh huh. That'd be crazy. Well, I don't think Park's gonna do Righteous Fire. I think this is Park's build, guys. Yeah, yeah. Eater is different than normal. He has the waves there that you see. They're not normally there and they do quite a lot of damage. Yeah. And as a reminder, because this is the... So, as a... Ooh. I'm choosing the log there. Um, there is a difference between this Eater and a normal Eater. So the quest version is one level lower, which does make it slightly easier. A lot easier. No, no, no. It makes it a lot easier because Ziz has made it so that 84 zones are required to gain the additional bump in mods and difficulty. And so right now he's actually doing only 30% more damage, 30% reduced damage, and 15% haste. But if he was to do a regular eater, right, so not the quest version, that would go all the way up to 100% more life on top of plus one zone level, on top of 40% more damage, on top of Cyrus apparitions throughout the fight, on top of the uh, the seawall mechanic that we're seeing added to the quest eater, so it'd be a very different fight if this wasn't the uh, quest eater. Oh, we'll see this happen with Maven, obviously. So almost got him. Nice. Boom. No melding. Does pick up the fugitive boots, which we have seen do really well in previous gauntlets. Wait, Maven lasers? Yep. Yeah, wait till you see Act 9. If you haven't seen Exarch, check this shit out. Are you ready? It'll be after the ball phase. Although it looks like this is the last ball phase. Very clean. Because that, that looked like a decently fast one. Some 40%. Yeah, here we go. Are you ready, chat? Watch this. Hmm, this looks like Exarch. This looks normal. This, this is looks normal, totally Exarch. Fine. Hmm, nothing's happening. Do the thing! Do the thing! There it is! Oh <laughs> shit, he almost died! Daddy! <laughs> yeah, so we have Shape of Beams in, in uh, Exarch. And remember, this is going to have significantly more damage and the fight will take... Twice as long. No, way more than twice as long. I don't know why you think monster level matters that much. It doesn't. It's like 10%. Wait, it's way more than that, no? No, it's 10%. Is it really just 10%? It's really 10%, yeah. Okay, twice as long then. Plus they'll have better gear at that point. Yeah. But you can only use outscale it so much, especially because players like Ben already have suppression. You can't get, you can't get double suppression. True. But you can, but like... <laughs> if you have... Oh, PUE, alright? You know, we, we all know it. PUE, alright? But realistically, we're not getting double suppression. Yeah, that... Is that is four hundred dollars. Yeah, that is a bounty. So that was the bounty we made before in the pre-show. That was four hundred dollars for um, the first players to beat, or the first player of each class to beat uh, two void stones. 
Hi guys, just an idea for the next gauntlet. What if bounties were dropped randomly during the stream instead of feast? Mm. That is something called flash bounties, mm. which we do periodically do through the gauntlet. We usually, uh, if we are going to do flash bounties that day, we'll start the tweet when we go live on Twitter with, um, uh, look at Alex stream, with, uh, with saying that there will be flash bounties that day so that uh, contestants can be aware. Oh, this is 84. <laughs> this will actually be kind of funny. <coughs> Wait. This is gonna be Cyrus apparitions, maybe, maybe. I don't know. Well, he doesn't know either. We don't know. He doesn't know. Does he know? We don't know. Couldn't he check the mods by pressing tab? Yeah, but he hasn't. Hey, what do you guys think? Oh, it does. That was that was forty percent, hundred percent Cyrus apparitions. Oh shit. Oh shit. That's funny. This is our first look. I think Al listens to the in-game music, right? I, mean... I guess I can't really suggest Oh, that. there he is! Definitely makes it a little bit more spicy than normal. Yeah, I can't have you check, because, um... Blah. Blah. Well, I, maybe I can, because they don't get... No, it's probably fine, right? It's up to you, though. What is it? Let me see. Sounds like Yo, my awesome. brain is so shit right now. Oh wow. He's very tanky, by the way. So this is a hundred percent increased monster life? Yeah. Still faster than I killed it in fucking Ruthless, let me tell you. Well, I guess that answers that question. So yeah, any 84 zone, this includes Voldo maps, will have these mods. Yeah. The waves shouldn't do much still. Face the wrath of the sea! Yeah, this should be fine. As long as he doesn't get stacks. So, this fight essentially is one of the easiest fights in the entire game. But if you do disrespect it, you could theoretically get stacks every time you touch the waves, and those give you a damage taken debuff, which can kill you. But you'd have to be pretty silly to like get stacks. Yeah. No, uh, tier 17s do not yeah, have it. Yeah, they're the, they're the exception. They specifically are exempt. No, he actually has quite a lot of damage. So like we said, he has a hundred percent increased monster life on top of the normal stuff. Yeah, normal Exarch went down with ease. Then compare normal Exarch to this. Um, very much, 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 much tankier. He probably has two to four million damage. Uh, I, I have no idea. Honestly, I have no idea. The Cyrus apparitions don't look they are too bad, other than Reign of Stars. Reign so of Stars would be bad. They don't do that much damage, but they do use a lot of the screen visually. And that's, that's why true. I wanted them there. Look at that. Yeah. That will make it really hard to see. Yeah, and you're gonna have this on top of Shaper Beams, on top of Exarch Runes, just to give you an example. Let's see if we get his power rune. Nope. nope. But, a lot of gold. Yeah, as he pointed out, that's actually huge. God takes good care of me. Oh my god. That's <laughs> uh, scary. Uh. Good damage. Very good damage. I find this she's, normal then. She's very tanky. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> He's okay. okay. He's okay. Very clean. One of the cleaner ones we've seen. What Dropping level is Mathel? Oh, 43. Balls. So Mathel knows the value of over leveling in the gold I like music on for the rest yeah. of this song because this sounds pretty intense. Yeah. I just want to see Dodre. I oh, was see Jung in the top right actually starting Exarch, by the way. So. Yeah. So we have Too multiple things to pay attention to. Screen. And one mana left sure as well. A lot of content. Content overload right now. Look at those Shaper Beams. I mean, I've spec like almost nothing but defense so far. Like actually, I've just gone out of my way to get defensive nodes everywhere. Yeah, this is quest. All sorry. my travel is for defense. <laughs> what the fuck, dude? Oh, that was a perfect triple beam. I'm so close to another couple of points. That would be really good. So it's a shame I'm not there. All right, now. It's random which boss he gets here. 
Will it be Dodre? Will it be Shav? Will it be oh, Mother Girl? Oh, Life Sprig! That would have been insane, 40 levels ago. <laughs> yep. Nah, Ben hasn't died Should yet. We bank it? Unironically, not a bad idea. Like, actually. Especially That's if this is Dodre. Malagara's arena to begin with. That's right. easy. Yeah. Executioner and Tradwalker. Life and energy shield cannot recover above 50%. Wait, he's Very got nice to see Mathal actually hovering nice. over things yeah. and. <laughs> yeah. oh, that's such a cool that thing. Is good for armor brand. It's really cool that we'll the only thing that we've seen other players look at other <laughs> look at the logo uh, look at other people for was Act Nine. That's the only thing people were like, okay, we gotta we gotta look at this. Everything else people got in mostly blind. Yeah. Uh, Kaiser yeah, is rank one so far. And then uh, rank two is Alex, and rank three is Benjamin. Now you might be wondering why is he uh, going to bank now? Why is he putting the life spring in his stash? Just in case. Yeah. Just in case. Do I need a better flask? Mm. Oh, this is scary. On one mana left. Nah, fuck it. Jang doing really good with XR. He's got the mechanic figured out. It's interesting. Um. Not to fault any of the players, but I think almost every single person has eaten that debuff on Malachi. It must be a lot harder than it looks, because, um, yeah, I think I've seen every single person except for maybe Ben tank the debuff. Yeah. What's a gauntlet? Just a special event for PoE. We start fresh in a hardcore race such event, and it's got a much harder version of the game, basically. Yep. True. Here we go. Oh, fuck off with your <laughs> fucking mana circle. Gets better. Oh my god. Oh, <laughs> well, I can't wait till this is done. Thank god for being like armor brand. <laughs> uh, it's not gonna help me on the next one. So, these last two bosses. He's been able to just kind of run it's, away. Yes, so much like by your own a pretty all out fight. Are you ready, boys? That's too much, honestly. I think that one's too much. <laughs> you have to build, like, into Camp Perez and some kind of spell defense by that point. Oh, no. Oh, God. <laughs> that is Sorry. Really a nightmare, yeah. Sorry, oh, Bethel. Okay. <laughs> Fuck off, Temporal Bubble Gojri. You gotta be joking. Uh, he does not have decoy. That's just so cruel. Oh, but he's doing really well. Oh, yes, what's up? Oh, that's a great start. Oh, look at the damage. Just the armor brand is doing so much. Yeah. And the ignite. Now he knows what's up. He's He knows. He's a Noah. Yo, Mathel's a go. Oh. My that's the, Even her auto attack hurts, though. That's yeah. normally how you want to do it, but she does have extra mods, so. Yeah, and he's trying to have Quicksilvers. I think that is the play. Just resetting go back. Quicksilvers is what it's all yep. about for me. Yep, 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 yep. Yeah, good job, Mathel. I'm so excited to see his Malachi reaction. Yeah. I hope we oh, uh, we I see Mathel finishing the campaign. Now remember, even though he's playing this well, it only takes one bad movement for him to eat all balls. Yeah, yeah but that's fine. Cringe. I don't like don't. that, man. Fucking <laughs> 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 temporal bubble. I'm so yeah. against that entire thing in this game in general, let alone one of the hardest things you're gonna face in Gauntlet. Good luck! Not a fan of that. And Jung takes down exactly. Nice! Hopefully. Hopefully. And easy. one mana left killed Malachi. Yeah, no, we can full screen this then. My next two Let's points. Let's do it! I think it'd be more. Rank one more is Al Kaiser. I actually find myself looking <laughs> <laughs> I'm scared, man! You shoot me! <laughs> oh. What are these Pepe Laws doing in my fucking chat? <laughs> <laughs> they know, and I don't. Look at all these no's. <laughs> what the <laughs> fuck? <laughs> oh, that's so good. Okay, dude. Oh, oh my god. Touched. Okay, so I got touched by the beam. Whoa! Uh. Yeah. Oh, wow. Jesus. 
Cinema. And it's 10 seconds as well. Don't touch the beam. Slamming. Okay. Dodging the slam. Well played. Miss how much damage. There it is. All right. That's fucked up. <laughs> that is. Yeah. Yep, he's four <laughs> levels higher than Darth was, by the way. It makes so much of a difference. Yeah! <laughs> Dude, it's actually here. That's kind of scuffed. This arena just becomes awful. Yep. Yes, sir! Can't even see the fucking. Yeah, now that's actually a feature. <laughs> a little bit of DC. Pony killed someone. Yeah, you for sure had to have built a pretty defensive character by now. You just can't dodge everything that Malachi's gonna be doing naturally this way. He's doing so great, man. Yeah, his armor getting brand does work. I guess he's on a falling. It's oh, don't, don't, oh. Did I get hit by it? Yeah. Holy Just oh. tank the slam, dude. I'm sweating. Whew. I did it, though. That's fucked. Very well done. We expect nothing less from Mathel. Let's say there's bullet hell in Shaper permanently. Like, there's no bubble, right? And let's say... What's going on, by the way? MPM's doing like a five way or six way. Right, right, right. The same thing they killed Jung then. Yeah. yeah. Ten way? But if um, each one of the bosses in Feared has an additional mechanic on top and they're all releasing at once, you would have to deal with all five mechanics at the same time on top of all five bosses at the same time. It would be like nearly impossible. So that might be a bit silly, but we'll, we'll see what happens there. Damn. Yeah, so like, much damage. Yeah, and he's so tanky. Four to five, five endurance. Yeah, that's really so. clean. Clean. Straight for that. Clean. Does MP play this? Uh, I believe MP was going to play as well. I'm not sure if he's on right now. Which jungle run we're still talking about? Yeah, it's gonna get real old. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna go mentally insane by the end of the golden talking about Jung Ron. Who is Jung did Jung not Ron. die. It was uh, when Steel said Jung died, Fub died. Not Jung. Different Jung. Yeah. I'll just do it like this. So we have... Do you want to do it? Yeah, we can just use the tool. All right, so our guys are obviously heading off to bed, I believe. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so it. ending the day with the big boy axe we saw earlier. This has, I believe it's Conqueror with Tempered by the looks of it. With crafted IPD. He can wipe those suffixes, recraft this. This could actually be a relatively end game weapon with some uh, metamodding. Really good one. Um, Decent chest, life res, armor, fist reduction. All Good the right stats, to be honest. A little bit low armor, but considering this is literally day one, basically. It's them. very good. Yeah. It's very good. Uh, again, just life and armor. You can see not prioritizing res too much. Um, yeah. Just getting yeah. that fizz mitigation is really important. Uh, very, very decent. Very yeah. respectful. That's good. Very but it's like Chaos Res, Chaos Res, Hybrid Craft, yeah, Life, so yeah, that's very respectable. 37 Chaos Res. Yeah. Wow. Uh, very life respectable regen too. too. Yeah. yeah. He understands the importance of getting like as much armor as possible. Yeah, armor is very important. Mm. Not very that's probably just filling out whatever he needs. I think this is a flexible slot. Yeah. Would be my guess. Because he can probably recraft this like that, but... Yeah, he yeah. must be kept res, and if you're kept res, then... You want flash charges and stuff like yeah. that? That's, yeah, we yeah. saw that insane sexy, ring, sexy, so sexy good. Ring. That's like, he might never change that out. Um, eh. it's like he will change that out. This mm -hmm. one's also kind of whatever, just filling out some stats. Yeah. But yeah, not bad, not bad, not bad. Very respectable day one 24 hour gear. Yeah, um, so good rank one, which... Let's see, it's be a puck. And rank two, which died. Immortal Flesh. I like the spell. You do have to obviously get rid of that downside, the extra res, but 
if you can compensate for that. The huge amount of recovery there. Uh, a lot of people will actually try to run things like Vitality on Arrogance. Yeah. So this can replace that because it gives you about 50%, 60% more life regen than even a level 20 Vitality would. Um, on top of giving mana, which is huge, and flat Fizz TR, and increased armor. Like, excellent fucking bell. Yeah. Um, Innocence doesn't have any special mods. That's yeah, fine. Innocence is very easy. We don't think Math will have trouble with that. And then we definitely want to watch this Kitava. And I was thinking we could do a Math will interview after Kitava. Yeah, that would be great. Uh, endurance charge ring. Only source of endurance charges, so that's good. Excellent. Um, respectable ring. Very respectable ring. Although it is, it is worth pointing out, these rings look good to me. But you got to remember... We got buff life. Yeah, so he's missing uh, about 8... 70 life there. 70 life missing. So, uh, car speed attributes, res, life solid again. A lot again. of crafted life. Yeah. Damn. So he is missing like a crap ton of flat life on his gear. Like, holy shit. I mean, he is missing a lot of life. Uh, which is not a bad thing. It means he's got room to improve. What's his shield? The most dog shit I've ever. What a dog shit is. What a dog shit is. Uh, uh, helmet's much better though. Much, 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 much better. Yeah. Me likey. Me likey. Weapons. Not a very good weapon. Fucking dog shit, to be honest. Ah! Oh! Yeah, no, it's dog shit. I don't care. It's basically just an essence of uh, anguish. Yeah. With cast speed. Like. Two ruby fast, three life fast. I will say though, it's oh. hard to get a better weapon, so maybe. It's, maybe it's just always kind of dog shit. Yeah. He's set up for doing X Arc right now, that's why he's fast stuff like that. Yeah. Um, somebody said we wanted to check Lily. We can take a look. Uh, what class was Lily playing again? I don't know, just search for Lily in accounts. Well, she did now. So their sign is really good. Chat, why do you want me to look at this? Do you want me to be mean? Maybe they wanted her, uh, us to check her stream right now, but we're, we're looking at gear right now. So I get Slade is gear. Okay. That is for Ranger. All right, is Lai hitting level 90. He hopped off a few hours ago, so we'll see him online at some point. Um, offline right now though. Dog shit. Uh, kind of dog shit. Mid, mid shit. Dog shit. Dog shit. Very okay, that's, nice. That's decent. Very nice. Dog shit. Dog shit. Dog shit. Dog shit. Dog shit. Dog shit. Literally double upgrade just by recrafting. Yeah, I, I, I'd He's be looking... just running on skill. Yeah, I'd be looking to recraft some gear for sure, 100%. Um... And it's even more impressive with Slaze has already died once at rank 1 Ranger and is back at rank 1 Ranger with level 90. What an absolute gamer. Yeah, definitely uh, not looking as hot as the other contestants. Have we seen Ben's gear? No. Right. I don't expect Ben's gear to have improved much since we last looked because he is just farming clusters right now. Um, slightly better actually because he's got the attributes, he's got accuracy, res, flat, spell damage, and pen. This is this is his improved one. This yeah. is actually okay. Uh, obviously we've seen this chest already. Such this a nice is very chest. fucking nice. Um, extremely nice ring. Oof. The recoup too. Extremely nice ring. Very bad amulet. Actually, no. He's got the flat on there. Every point oh, of damage. Every point I didn't of flat counts for that. this. Yeah. You're right. You're right. He's got the flat in both rings. The warp. Yeah. It's actually not bad. It's what. It's okay. It's, what, it's whatever. Uh, that's also pretty whatever. Not bad. I mean, I guess it's really hard to get high spell damage with life and everything else. Um, but he will want to. He will want to upgrade that at some point. Well, uh, we'll interview Mathil after he does Kitava then. Yeah. Just yell at us. Um, belt's actually fine too. Weird, oh, life really regen, good regen. Yeah, very honestly, you can see the difference. Like, every, like he's. This is not perfect gear, but for what it is, it's very nice. Accuracy and damage wherever he can get it. Um, and obviously, prioritizing those implicits as well. You can see he's actually got somewhat decent implicits where he's he very can. Nice. He's even got that anoint, which we've seen a lot of contestants are still missing a usable anoint. No, huh. very nice. Very really nice. good. Let's look, uh, let's look at the Scion. That's mean. Not mean. It's, it's a, a little, little mean. It's a little mean. 
I have a bit of action ruthless, by the way. I have a bit of action ruthless. I'm just saying. That's mean. Um, you know... It's a lot of blue here. Here's the thing. Oh, five things. So, the gear isn't bad for the level. That's what you yeah. have to keep in mind. For the, the fact that they are obviously uh, that behind sounds the Because we're, we're comparing a level 85 to a level 95. Of course... Of course they're not going to have as good gear. Yeah, and he's alive. Yeah. And yeah, obviously playing uh, basically a blade glad, but shit. True. Yep. Um, let's see. We haven't looked Marauder at the Marauder and Templar. Soul, rank 7 and 9. They're so close to each other. Let's see. And SPB not following far behind. Yeah, um, that's the Jesus highest Christ. weapon. Christ. Yeah, we've seen this weapon already, but wow. 837 day one axe feels good to not suck yeah very potent chest as we saw before that's the 5k armor evasion Honestly, some of the best gear we've seen in the gauntlet yeah solid ring ben would like a ring like this with the yeah, red the, red. the calm sign really good, calm is, uh, good for a jug bad for everybody else though good for good gladiators for jug uh -huh. um Am I am I stupid? Too am sad. I dumb? It's just life. Am I dumb? It's just life. Just life and res crafted and the annoying. But you are stupid, but like not related to this, but like, oh, could need the end too. Yeah, but that's like it's not even blessed all much. Like, yeah. It well, is what it is. room, you know, what? room to grow. Uh, very wow. sexy helmet. Very nice. Very sexy helmet. Yeah. Um, Unveiled. Boots are like mm. pretty whatever. Yeah. Easy upgrade. Um, gloves are sexy. Wow. Very nice gloves. Some of the better ones we've seen. Yeah. You know, bit of trivia. Why does he have flat armor crafted? Oh, it's the mastery. Yeah. That that craft is giving him plus one max res. So yep. that's armor why he's on that. every piece of gear. Yep. 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 Um, the belt is good, but the base is dog sh Actually, no. No, 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 no. He probably has the, uh, the keystone. Divine Judgment, what it's called? I can't remember. Um, so that energy shield might actually be useful. It might actually be doing something. Explain? I can't remember. When you Divine Shield. So when you prevent physical damage, oh, right, you recover, recover it as thing. energy shield. Right. So that flat is actually doing something. It's, don't get me wrong, it's not, it's not good. But it's doing something. Like it has a purpose on a jug. Yeah. So. That's good. Um. Yeah. Very good. Very good. Very good. I never use it. He's actually using a tincture too. For. Wait. No it's... fucking way. He's playing Quinn's build. He's bleeding button shredder. Holy shit. Bro. Yo, yo, he's playing Quinn's build. Lol. I thought it was just like Bone Zone, but yo, no. Yo, what if this is Quinn? What is Quinn doing right now? We yeah, don't know. Yeah, I mean, know. think about it. He's reacting on one monitor, playing the gauntlet on another. Could be. Uh, Maybe it's bypassing the ban. I actually can't believe. I actually can't believe he's playing Blade Bone Shadow. That's funny. All right. Um, and then is that every oh Templar? Right. Yeah. Do we Templar. look at? Do we look at Alex? No, 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 no. Well, you're Alex. I'm looking at you. Hmm. Um. Pretty dog shit chest, but it is a five link. I don't have suppression at least. Yeah. I, I guess it's worth pointing out. I consider it dog shit because I'm thinking from tricks to POV, but he um, doesn't need the eye evasion energy shield as much. It's not as mandatory. So it's it looks bad for a trickster, but for Archmage, it's, it's usable. Yeah. Um, Ring's insane. Like, actually. Life, mana, regen, chaos res, flat, yeah. Really very good. Very good. Other rings solid as well. Other oh. ambit solid. Sexy. Very nice helmet. Especially suffixes. Um, That's upgraded from last time we yeah, saw it. Yeah, it's slightly better now. Slightly better. And the better. right one, I remember being good. No. Oh, never mind. They just, he just swapped them. Yeah, he just switched hands. He tricked us. Um, Good if the life is higher. It's like actually insane if the life was higher. But yeah. yeah. Good mana too. Um, Bill. Decent. It's just filling out some chaos risk, clearly. Good mana. It's a uh, pretty whatever. Yeah, and he can... worth pointing out though, suppression. So that uh, no, these these are just in my opinion really good because he can get onslaught on that later. Yeah, look at how much suppression he has on his gear. 
Yeah. 11, very, 14, very well done. 13, 14. Yeah, so he'd be suppression capped, I think. Yeah. Uh, and he does have a good anoint too. So yeah, very solid. Actually, that's a great question. Is anyone playing uh, Assassin and Sabo? We can search. <laughs> no. There's one guy. Literally one guy. Well, there's not one guy. There's like 10. These people... Uh... Well, those don't count. Scroll down. There might be more. Oh. Uh, Saboteur? Uh, there's oh. like... Six or so? Five? Six? What about there's a cultist? Like... You know, I'm just gonna assume it doesn't load because there's not a single occultist. There Am could I right, be zero. Guys? Am I right, guys? I guess Assassin's the least by then. <laughs> oh, they're all dead. <laughs> I'll check Warden. Ah, Dex. Oh, wow. Um, yeah, there's a couple of Wardens. He's actually, he's actually, he's at 100 almost. He's That's doing all right. It kind of makes sense to me, actually. Yeah. It would have no defense whatsoever. But it would have more damage by a long shot, right? Yeah, for so sure. It's kind of like the opposite of Trickster. Yeah. But because of how strong Power Siphon is, and we saw how strong damage is in the Gauntlet, yeah. it's not a horrible idea. Awesome. Um, Let's yeah. go back to uh, to watching. All right. Dead man walking. Walking the I mile. believe. Walking the green mile. <laughs> ravenous one. Face the wrath of God. Okay. Yeah, nothing too crazy. That's it's not fine. too bad. What we? There is more. Here we go. I don't want Golem to be alive anymore as well. He might bait attacks today. Smart. Don't want. Where is he? Smart. Uh oh. Yeah. As long as he doesn't bait a throw. Yeah, the throw is deadly. That would be the only thing I'm I wish he had a portal hit. up. Yeah, I assume he has portal bound, so he'll be fine. Okay. okay. Here we go. Alright. Here we go. Ah, oh, great damage. Yeah, he's fine. Uh, I kind of want Quicksilver's back. Yeah. Yeah, he doesn't have the life bar on his head, I just noticed. Yeah, that ability there does benefit from multi proj, which A lot. means it. Basically one shot you. There's not much you can do about it other than portal out or not get or dodge it. Okay. Nice. It's doing well, very clean. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, that beam when it spawns does appear to have a grace period as well. We saw we obviously Ben as well. wasn't sure if it would or not, so he TP'd out every time. Very nice. He's got this. Yeah. Hey. We're good. All right. Maybe. Yeah. Maniki, tell him to uh, message Steel on Discord. All right. Or you can message him. Well played. Awesome. Thank you, Methel, for, for joining us for a quick interview. How are you uh, enjoying the Gauntlet campaign so far? Um, Pretty good, honestly. Yeah. Like, um, it's something different for, for sure. Yeah, very, very different. Uh, was there anything in particular you liked? Uh, well, to begin with, you said, is there anything I liked? Uh, not just the boss. And I did want to say, um, it felt like there's you know, like better pack size throughout the campaign. And that felt good. Like, just more mobs, um, which you can interact with early on. So, you know, you're like AOE and stuff. And let's say you get explosion effects and shit. All of that is just going to feel better early on. So I really like that. Yeah. Um, Otherwise, yeah, the bosses, I mean, the, the basically all the <laughs> act ones were nice jump scares, um, which um, was was a welcome change, and it was a lot of fun, uh, especially, I think the first one, realistically, was what Brutus for me, because I just, like, walked in and went, oh, wow, they just replaced him with Cole, that's something, and then, like, fully let my guard down and thought I was chilling, and then I walked in and shit hit the fan. Yeah. And so that was, like, a big, big jump scare. 
Yeah, a lot of people were portaling out after killing Cole, and then they were already logging out, and they were like, oh no, we have to run back. And uh, Ben was the first pe person to kill Brutus, and it was bugged. It was just normal Brutus. So we were like, oh, maybe he's faster, maybe he's enraging. Like, we don't we don't really know. And then, obviously, we saw other people were fighting the Hydra thing, so it was, that was fun, but that's been fixed so already. Ben didn't actually... Nope, he's cheating. he's cheating. He's cheating. Special client. That's, yeah, fuck, Make him do he's got an again. inside man. <laughs> yeah, yeah, fucking every... restart the race. Fuck this shit. <laughs> Everything else was fine. So, um, but yeah, it was fun. Obviously, uh, I think Malachi was my favorite. No, no way Ben would win this race without that Brutus buff. I, I agree. I agree. We should look at restarting it. Um, yeah. And have you had anything spoiled for you, or are you completely blind on everything? I've been blind on everything so far. Like I just told my chat not to, you know, spoil anything. That's I've awesome. been pretty good about it. That's so pretty good. That's that's how I want to experience it, and I think that's how everyone should. Um, yeah. And so yeah, I, I like you know leaks days before or something. Who the fuck does that? Come on. Yeah, I agree. I agree. Um, but yeah, no, like we see your build has been doing really well for your Armageddon brand. Do you want to talk a little about your build? So I don't really have a build. Like I was tossing up between just uh, starting a Templar or like a Deadeye and uh, either doing something like, you know, Cold and Frostblade or Ice Shot or just like a Templar, which can be pretty generic. And uh, I went with the Templar route and I wanted to do Volatile Dead. Uh, that was kind of like my idea. I went, oh yeah, Volatile Dead would be cool because, you know, you got time to cast corpses and then do explosions and stuff. No big deal. Um, as I was leveling and then tried Volatile Dead, it was doing zero damage. So oh. <laughs> I just kept going with like um, Rolling Magma and then just picked up Armageddon Brand and went, well, this is the next stage of evolution, I suppose. So mostly just been focusing on trying to get a bit of block and defense and stuff so I don't die. And then whatever fits in after that, which currently is Armageddon Brand and Void Sphere of Rending, that's the one thing I got from the lab. So I might ah. try and do more into that. Yeah, I mean, it's been going really well so far. Your damage has looked very solid. We have seen people struggling a lot more with less damage, and uh, it's it's been rough. Mm -hmm. Like, damage is definitely really good. So especially your mobility has looked really nice for dodging, and there there is a lot of dodging. So, cool. Really? I've only got 10 MS boots, so it's nothing crazy. Yeah, but, like... Uh, especially the people with Sunder and stuff have really been struggling. Um, yeah. Something that people really struggled with on Sunder was the Act 4 Dodri with the proxy shield there. It was very rough for some of the slower attack speeds. Yeah, Al Kaiser oh, was doing was the... Uh, yeah, he was doing the like cinematic overhead. Like, <laughs> that thing was straight unfair, man. Yeah. yeah I don't, I, uh, like some of, some of the bosses were pretty cool, right? And like good jump scares and shit. Yeah. And I think some of them were just like unfair. And that one, like, I'm against Temporable basically being in the game to begin with. And I'm putting that on the Dodri fight with Gauntlet mods. Like, yeah, for mean... so many builds, that is pure unfair. Yeah. No, it's been fun. Um, Steel, do you have any final question for Mathel? Uh, we got in the build. Will you allow yourself to, you know, I, I know you're maybe against playing the most meta, meta, meta builds possible, but will you allow yourself to indulge in maybe playing Archmage? You are kind of, like, teed up for Archmage. You could, you know, just just a mana uh, node here, a mana node there, eh? You you could if you wanted to. Uh, I mean, first I'd have to do, redo my lab because I went with Inquisitor for uh, right. some really okay. stuff. Um, like I, I if I went, I I was tossing up between the three of them. Like I was staring at all three and just going, hmm, what should I do? Uh, and I decided if I went hero and just got the charges, that would honestly just be a bit too easy for myself. Like That's if you have, you know, good block, good life, and then you're too rolling easy. through the campaign that for down. endurance as well. Well, don't you think? Like it'd be getting all different types of defense for the campaign. Like I know it's going to end up, you know, being rough later, but my goal was basically to clear the campaign and yeah. start mapping and shit. So it's nothing yeah. crazy. Yeah. Um, yeah. No, I mean, yeah. especially bosses will be really interesting. So it'll be uh, it'll be fun to see you clear the campaign. We're excited. And yeah, thank you so much for taking some time out to do a quick interview. And uh, best of luck with the rest of the gauntlet. Yeah, no worries. Final thoughts. Uh, make it in the future so no one can log out. I think that would make it much more intense. Oh, bosses resetting. Yeah, we, yeah. We, it's more likely that we'll have like, uh, even portaling out would be bosses resetting if we can. Maybe, maybe. 
Like, I think it doesn't even have to be as intense, you know, modifiers and stuff being as crazy. But if no one can log out, you know that brings rips and you know yep. that brings intensity. Absolutely. So you could just make a blanket rule like no logout macros or something like that. And that that's... Um, well, the, the, cool the hard me. time, the hard thing with that for something for the campaign is that would only be enforced against streamers. Yeah. Also, my PC I mean, crash, guys. Oh, guys. Yeah, true. Wow, there's... There's honor amongst thieves, right? Everyone, everyone out here is good. No, people. not really. Not really. <laughs> not, <laughs> not really. One guy submitted slightly, I think it was like 360p Katarina, yeah. so that they could make it look like a 70, a 73, look like an 83. Yeah. Just to submit Dang. that one extra, like, bounty. Yeah, we've had at least over 10, 15 attempts of cheating on bounties. Uh, Pee wee plays, man. Okay. Well, I mean, you are, you're putting a lot of money all over the place. Um, if you're like, yeah. you know, streamlining, I'm talking about like going for the biggest bosses and just like going for, you know, one goal then. Yeah. Yeah. But overall, yeah. I mean, I see, like a lot of people are going to need this money. I mean, yeah, they're going to do what they're going to do. Yeah. But yeah, awesome. We'll take the feedback in into consideration. And again, best of luck for the rest of the campaign. Really excited to see how you'll do. All right. Awesome. Well, that is, we are 20 minutes over time for the cast today. So we are going to be ending the cast here shortly. Uh, we do want to take some time out to thank our wonderful sponsors. But before we do that, a huge thank you to everybody watching from at home. Really, really, uh, we do appreciate it a lot. So yeah, you can do that now, Mariki. Um, let's start doing some ad sponsorship.